guys. I wanted to bring a video out for you that gave you a good example. If you're already doing t-shirts on Merch, Redbubble, or some other uh, print-on-demand platform, and you've, been, you've heard about Shopify or you're thinking about it, I wanted to give you some example of what some other uh, Shopify stores that are selling t-shirts, posters, mugs, stuff like that, or other print-on-demand uh, apparel are looking like that are doing it well. Um, so I did some research on a couple sites that are, you know, that look very clean, professional. Um, this is kind of what you have to do to do this. It's really not that hard, um, especially if you're already like getting used to graphic design and putting stuff together. Shopify makes it super easy. Um, I have some other videos uh, in the playlist that this is in. So if you're interested in seeing more, I, I give some examples on exactly how to set it up. Just check out those videos. And also if you're looking to just take a swing at it, in the link down below, I have a 14 day, a link to a 14 day free trial. Um, and you know, what better way to, if you're thinking about it, to just get started, but let's get right into this video and show you, um, some of these sites that are selling shirts and posters and other stickers, stuff like that, um, that you can easily just make these happen. If you have the design files from merch by Amazon or Redbubble or something like that, you can just use them here and put them on new products and make them look even better than they do on merch. And it's really cool just by using different mockups and stuff like that. So the first one store here is called Factory 43. And you can see they have a nice banner here. Like all the stuff is super easy to set up. Um, Shopify makes it really easy. You just pick a theme and then you set up these different, they're called like um, sections. So like this is a section up here. And then this is another section up here. And if you look, these are just um, like kind of zoom ins of his designs that you see. And uh, super cool, you know, these are some pins, stuff like that. So uh, this is another different promotion type thing here. You can do some social media, like all this stuff is customizable. But let's just go in here and see what he has for shirts quick so I can show you. Uh, we'll click on unisex. And then this is all he does. It's so simple. It's almost like the Redbubble style when you're viewing it. And all he has is cartoony type vintage stuff when you click on it. Uh, you know, simple, small description of what the T is. And, you know, that's it. Like, this is all you have to do. And you're going for a higher quality buyer. You can see that he's priced at $32 for a t-shirt. And no lie, that's what you're going to get. You're going to have to spend some more time marketing and um, like setting up a community on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that, which if you're unfamiliar with that, I also have some courses and, and links for that stuff down below. So um, I know I'm putting some plugs in, but like I, I've been putting stuff together for you guys because I get so many questions and um, I want to have stuff there to help you. So yeah, definitely a higher qu quality uh, customer you're looking for and um, they're willing to pay more. Now let's see quick, just even the mugs, let's see what they're getting. He's got one mug for $20. So that's that's really awesome. Like they're getting good money. So you definitely need to pick out your more quality designs for your Shopify store, but it, it's worth it. And we'll get into some. Some of them are just doing uh, like more, uh, just like basic font lettering or stuff like that. But they're, they're all simple designs. It's just you, you're trying to market it as more of a lifestyle type thing or something, you know, towards someone that's passionate. Like these two are, this is like a lifestyle brand. So um, you can see this site is really nicely laid out. And this is, all these are Shopify. So there's themes like these, you can buy them and then they just, you just kind of lay it out. So, I mean, you can either do this with mock-ups or, you know, you can take the pictures yourself or, you know, get prof get professional mock-ups um, or you can just use pictures it doesn't even have to be your product um, but if you go in here you can see here's their shop um, like simple text-based stuff and, and these are the mock-ups I'm talking about so you could use normal mock-ups or you know create new mock-ups yourself but that's all they are they're mock-ups you know they're just really high quality so this is an example of something you could do if you had a transparent hat you can lay it on a picture you just have to be innovative like that you know, so you're really trying to like stick out there. Um, but yeah, that's basically all it is. You know, they're, they're just selling a product, but look at, they 
they're pulling in thirty dollars for a t-shirt uh seventy six dollars for like this fleece and one breaker uh seventy dollars for a, it's just a basic hoodie guys like we'll get into here and look um heavyweight polycon blend like this is nothing special um when you look at it like nothing special it's just a hoodie but they uh they really are getting some extra money for it so um, the next one is called Salt Surf. I thought this was cool because it was, this is kind of what's in right now um, with the font, like a sans, sans serif or whatever, you know, just really basic, like, their designs are not, like, special at all. Like, look at that, we'll, we'll get in here. Like, this is their designs, like, basic font, like, nice and cool, Salt Surf, like, just really basic, no kooks. Um... But yeah, like some obviously these guys have some other products which you know you wouldn't have and, and you don't have to have, but like hats like this you can do. Um but sticking to the clothing part of it, like don't totally doable. And it could just be uh a clothing store. You don't need to have the other stuff. But um yeah, and we'll look at the last example here. Um no, this is more like they they had some nice shirts here, but and they were even doing sets of three, which this is the first time I saw this. And this was something that really caught my um, eye here is they did a series of three. So to do an upsell, they kind of did like bundled their, their stuff. And um, you, you look at this and you're like, well, this looks like they're actually branding and stuff. But I want you to look at this right here and then go check Printful because they do this. Um, this is like this custom label is something you can pay for. Um, through these print-on design companies, and they will provide that for you. They'll rip the tag off and put your own whatever branding you uh, desire in there, and it's like a dollar fifty extra charge. But if you really want to brand yourself like that and make it look more official, you can do that. Um, and if you're selling your shirts at this, you know, much higher price point, you know, it can be worth it. Like twenty-eight dollars for a T-shirt. There's a lot of room for profit in there. Um, even if you're going through Printful, which is a more expensive one, uh, your cost in a shirt like this that's even branded would be probably $18. So that gives you 10 maybe that's the high end, but $18, we'll say $18, that still gives you $10 to spend on marketing and, um, you know, whatever other costs you have, but per for just one t-shirt so that's really good and then once you get up into sweatshirts and stuff like something like this um there's a lot more profit there so if you can sell the higher dollar items you're getting into 20 or 30 dollars profit per item so there's a lot of opportunity yes it's a totally different um aspect but you guys have seen in my income reports um if you haven't there's a link for that in the blog down below um for my blog down below in the description but I go over what I'm making every month in Shopify, and it's been pretty good, you know, an extra five to six hundred dollars a month, and it, it's slowly building up over time as I build my email list and start to reach new customers um, through Facebook, Instagram, content marketing. There's all these things that you can do, and you can either spend money and do it quickly, or you can take the time and find the strategies. Um, that will help you grow organically, which is totally possible. Um, you know, there's so many ways you just have to be creative and create content that's shareable. And, um, you know, if it's around a, if you're doing a brand around a lifestyle or uh, a community, you can reach out in those communities and use those to help you drive traffic. Um, and I have a bunch more videos like that, but this is all I'm going to go into this today. I just kind of wanted to give you guys an, a quick look at what some good examples of some Shopify stores that are selling uh, print-on-demand clothing look like and to give you an idea of where to get started. And I'm going to keep doing some more Shopify videos like this in the future and you know try to give you a better understanding of what it's like to jump into this. But um, I hope this helped you guys. Leave some comments if there's any other videos about Shopify that you want to see down below. And if you're trying to get started with Shopify, there's a whole playlist of videos I have once again and a link down below for a free trial. So make sure you check that out and we'll see you in the next video.